Behind the thriving agriculture in Ramat HaNegev in southern Israel lies the Ramat Negev R&D Center. This is where agricultural experiments take place in desert conditions using fresh water and brackish underground water pumped from local wells in order to develop crops of international quality standards. The purpose of the Ramat Negev R&D Center is to develop innovative methods of growing, irrigating, fertilizing and cultivating crops and adapting them to the ecological conditions of the region by means of numerous theoretical and experimental studies in the field. The R&D Center has been conducting an international project for practical training in advanced agriculture. These young students, around 250 of them, are the most excellent university graduates of agricultural sciences throughout the Far East. They have all joined together after passing a strict screening process and being selected by the institutions of their respective countries to be sent to our region to take part in this unique study program which is likely to change their future. Here in Ramat HaNegev, they study and specialize in agriculture while accumulating invaluable knowledge that will turn each and every one of them into a significant impetus for development and advancement of agriculture in their countries of origin. לפני משהו כמו שבע שנים נחתם הסכם מסגרת בין, בין מדינת ישראל ווייטנאם על פרויקט שנקרא פרויקט משלמים בחקלאות. התחיל הליך של בחינה, בחירה של האנשים, התחילו להגיע ואני מוכרח להגיד שהיום אחרי כמה שנים טובות זה אחד הפרויקטים המוצלחים ביותר. די למגזען, כזה נועל לנזום קומגי עזר לקר, צ'אום סנסות נונגב מקוטה אלא קי צ'אום. Đối với Việt Nam thì là đất nước nông nghiệp Thế cho nên là cái việc mà ứng dụng một cái mô hình, cái kiểu sản xuất như thế này thì là rất cần thiết đối với Việt Nam Whereas the farmlands in the Far East are located primarily in open fields Israeli farming methods focus on growing in hothouses and shaded enclosures Apart from these methods, the students are exposed to a variety of other farming methods, from the most basic to the most advanced and up-to-date ones. נכון להיום משתתפים בפרויקט סטודנטים שמגיעים ממיאנמר, שזה בורמה, ומווייטנאם. הסטודנטים שמגיעים לרמת הנגב בעצם נחשפים לטכנולוגיות החדשות האלה. הם נחשפים אליהם, הם לומדים אותם, הם לומדים להשתמש בהם. כל השיטה היא learning by doing, זה, זה הרעיון. הם באים, הם מוכשרים, הם לומדים את החקלאות, לומדים את החיים של החקלאים, לומדים איך להשתמש בטכנולוגיות, ואותם הם מיישמים במדינות שמהם הם באים. The students receive both theoretical and practical knowledge during 11 months. The theoretical studies last for 10 months, in which they study one day a week and take part in 12 different courses on topics related to flora and fauna. At the same time, they acquire practical experience and actually work on local farms. Most of the work that they do is indoor agriculture. They grow product for export. Most of our products go to, uh, for export to Europe and to the state. Some of them learn how to run poultry farm, how to run dairy farm, a orchard farm, and some of them also stay in the research center and learn how to run uh, research in the uh, apply aspect in the center. When the students first come to, uh, to the dairy, they know nothing. And we have to teach them from beginning. Uh, we teach them how to milk, the importance of sanitize the importance of uh, behaving with the teeth of the of the cow công việc của tôi ở đây thì rất tốt và có thể học học tập ở đây rất nhiều những kiến thức của đất nước bạn sau này nếu dịp trở về Việt Nam tôi sẽ kể với những người thân hoặc những bạn bè của tôi để biết đất, đất nước bạn tốt và công việc ở đây cũng rất tốt nhiều, nhiều thứ có thể giúp được cho tôi rất nhiều sau này về Việt Nam có thể tôi sẽ làm những công việc do được học hỏi từ đất nước bạn và sẽ cho làm cho nền nông nghiệp của Việt Nam phát triển hơn. The hands-on practical experience on the local farms contributes more than anything else to assimilation of their knowledge. 
the students learn to deeply understand what they see and develop the ability to harness the advanced agricultural technologies to improve crop growing in their countries of origin. The knowledge they have acquired is demonstrated in their final project, which they prepare in pairs and submit at the end of the course. This project gives me many advanced knowledge of agriculture and after training I go back to my home country. I will be able to provide guidance to our farmers in my home country. Have been happy times at the Nizana. Now all go away. All my friends, don't be sad. There is time for grief. In recent years, there have been a steady rise in the number of countries interested in joining the agricultural training program and in the number of students enrolling in it. Therefore, the R&D Center has decided to construct a specially designed building to be located in the Nitsana Youth Village, which will include classrooms, an auditorium for large lectures and conventions, computer rooms and others. We open with our knowledge for everyone. Everyone is more than welcome to come to visit here and to see and if it's need also to get some advice or some uh, assistance. אנחנו מגיעים לוויטנאם, מקבלים אותנו בהערצה. הסטודנטים שגומרים פה שנה חוזרים לוויטנאם. אתה כבר יכול לראות בוויטנאם, וראינו בוויטנאם, חוות חקלאיות שכולן על טכנולוגיה ישראלית. כשאתה מסתכל על כל החבילה, ואומרים לנו את זה גם במשרד החוץ, ואומרים לנו את זה גם בוויטנאם, הפרויקט מקדם את היחסים בין וייטנאם לבין ישראל. דורי בווייטנאם די הנאי דאנג צ'ונג גזי דואן דיו צ'ינג לאי כאי קו 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 קינג תה צ'ן תה כאי צ'יו זונג סנג צ'יו סו ונדנג קו כאי היו קוואם וצ'ט לאנג קוואק קוואק קינג קינג תה צ'ונג דואק קוואק 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 קוואק